Hello and welcome in. I am Miss Kinghorn and we are back here in The Sims 4. Yes, I promise you. But we're starting off with a spin wheel here. So, uh, yeah. When I was doing this, I really didn't know what to build. And I thought, well, let's do a kind of a colour build. Um, so I've gone, ended up going for three spins. I was only playing on two. But we have gone for a black and a pink um, build in here. So, yeah. That's what the colours wheel gave me, and in the end, this is where we are. So we are in 910 Millennia Studios. Uh, it's, a, it's probably actually one of the smallest apartments I think we have in the game. Um, but I have turned this into an actual sort of open kind of studio apartment in here for one sim. <sighs> Part of me kind of wants to say maybe like a university graduate, that kind of thing, but this is me we're talking about so money's no obstacle and yeah it's probably a little bit too expensive for a university student but anyway you can see here i have got this small little bathroom onto one side and then i have raised up a platform for um what's actually going to turn out to be the sleeping area in here with then like the living kitchen dining kind of area down on the sort of normal floor when you download this from the gallery, as I'm sure all of you will do, um, I have removed the stairs and I have lowered the platform and the bathroom down. So what you basically need to do is just raise those back up and reattach the stairs. Now I used the pink stairs because it fits the colour scheme um, in here and that's what I really wanted to do but this is a pre-recorded video because as you know I am away at the moment and uh, yes yeah, so this was actually done even before life and death came out um, I am recording this voiceover um, afterwards however but because I knew I was going away I kind of blog filled a lot of sort of recordings out so that I could still have content for you for either when I'm away or when I'm just way back and so yeah that's what we're on at the moment but uh, this is the apartment coming together in here so yes I've gone around I've placed pink um, wallpaper and then obviously the black wallpaper in places as well and then using these large um they're from the party kit they're kind of like mosaic kind of backing pieces don't really know if I'm going to use them anywhere else ever again but anyway they kind of work as a bit of a splashback in the kitchen here so I figured that would be perfect for them here um we don't really have a I didn't want to do another wallpaper essentially but I wanted this to kind of be a very much a kind of a house that's using sort of the basic sort of same sort of things and things like that so I did go basically for the two different wallpapers in here um, I haven't changed the front door but I did change the windows out uh, you sort of see me do that I used the ones from Machino um, again they're kind of a window that I don't really use um, or from a pack that I don't really use I used them I think for the artist's loft um, like the industrial build that I did and I think this was probably done just after that if I'm being honest um, so yeah that's probably why I'm using a few of the same sort of things because I found them in there and thought it would work perfectly but you can see here this is the kitchen normally you don't get to see any of this scrolling but this was only a short little video so I figured why not show you in here and uh, so yeah this kitchen is slowly coming together it is quite small but then it is only a one bedroom apartment so I figured it would be okay that it sort of be quite a small kitchen uh, you still have plenty of sort of space and although I am kind of cluttering this up a little bit it's not too cluttered that you can't in theory use it or even like in game use it so you actually do have an empty kind of or a um, worktop space there that they can use there is also the bar kind of counter on the other side which is perfect for them in there as well now not everything in this apartment is black and pink um, I do kind of mix it up with a few different kind of colours in there um, I do try to sort of limit those colours as much as I possibly could 
um, but you will sort of see that there's a few other little hints, there's maybe a little bit of green coming through, um, a little bit of softer wood as well, just because that's what was really needed for all of this. Now this lot has the, um, I think it's a TLC lot, which basically means that everything breaks. Now I have kind of tried to cover those up as best as I possibly can. Uh, Unfortunately, not completely, and I do, when I come to putting the furniture in, kind of play around and mess around with that bit and try to hide them a little bit more. I really wish that that was not locked to a particular apartment, like, not traits in general where you can, like, put them in if you need to or take them away or whatever. They work fine. I don't know why they have to be locked on these apartments. I kind of get maybe the noisy neighbour, but then I feel like I can just remove the neighbour and then no longer noisy. Like, I kind of get it for gameplay, but also it doesn't really make much sense for everybody else. So, yeah. Anyway, enough of me ranting. <laughs> we have moved away from the kitchen and this is a little entrance area here. With a sort of hallway table and lots of sort of clutter coming through. Using a lot of items from Lovestruck, as I say, that um, had only sort of come out, and then I wanted to kind of mix it around and use different pieces from that pack as well, and also the art studio. I love that kit. Um, I feel like I use it a lot, um, I have to be fair. Now, I did want to put this desk in here somewhere, but I was conscious of how much space there was. So in the end, I just had like a little artist kind of easel, um, like the tablet for it instead of the actual easel, which I think works out pretty well. It kind of, it works in the sense that it kind of gives the sort of graphic designer kind of artist that I wanted, like a digital artist, not an actual kind of painting kind of artist, uh, which an easel would do. But I thought for a nice young, kind of a modern um, kind of place, I felt like that worked in there really, really well. And now this is the little living room in here. So we've used a few more pieces from the um, party essentials. And here you're finding every pink sofa we have in game. <laughs> I went through so many sofas and I found this one and I don't remember the last time I used it. And I thought this would work perfectly in here. Um, it's kind of got that nice sort of pink look. It's got obviously the pink trim, stitching on it. A little bit of white coming in, but I thought that would be okay. It's nothing too major that you couldn't like get away with it. So I decided onto that. And then also using the machino rug, you can see here, I go through quite a few different little options. And in the end, I kind of... I know which rug I want, but do you think I could find it? <laughs> it was so difficult to do, but in the end I place two rugs down on top of each other here with the polka dot, black and white polka dot, and then the uh, pink checked ones all over the place, and a few little bits and pieces and clutter just to make this place look really loved lived in and kind of loved and things like that. Um, those flowers are from the love struck. They're actually like the gifting flowers. So they are like a debug item, I believe. Um, but they come in like a really nice sort of clear vase and I feel like they're kind of what you would expect. Like a, no a normal plant. Like maybe you can just take the flowers out and put in whatever flowers you want when they die. Like, you know normal ones rather than an actual kind of like plant plant but some nice cut flowers in there in pink and red and i think it just works in here really well now i'm gonna have another moan uh this is me we're talking about when do i not moan um these curtains i was going mad um because none of the curtains actually fit this window uh, so in the end, I had to actually remove the window, place these black kind of curtains, and then attached to the window, there is the kind of pink um, sort of smaller ones that aren't really curtains because you can see through them. Um, and I thought if this was like an open kind of 
apartment, which is what I really wanted, then it would show too much light and you wouldn't be able to sleep and things like that. So I tried to kind of cover them up with the black kind of uh, window um, curtains as well in there. And now getting out a few more bits and pieces and yeah, just draw of general clutter, I think, around the place. Um, just to kind of make it feel a little bit more a little bit more useful and a little bit more what I really wanted for this place in here um, so I was thinking like a young kind of single female as I say maybe she's just finished university or maybe has sort of got a job but they're still sort of single and they're like dating or maybe they're they're like going out on lots of sort of dates and maybe they're trying to find that perfect somebody or something like that that's at least what i was thinking in my head anyway um let me know what you really want for this sort of gameplay do you have a sim in mind let me know down in the comments um i'm always interested to know what you kind of do with the builds um kind of what story turn you do and things like that as well because obviously I build these houses and I have kind of in my head like a rough plan of what I want but what do you what do you do let me know um so yeah and if you want to see any particular builds or anything at all like that do let me know uh no guarantees but you know it may happen it may not it may but it may not um, into there so now we've kind of finished on that area we are just going to be coming up the sort of stairs up here so um when you do the platform you want to make sure that well i mean it doesn't really matter how high you make it i guess um i've kind of gone for the four step um which is basically the way i tell it of how many uh, you have to go up so you have these pink gorgeous pink stairs that work in here really really nicely and yeah um i haven't put in like a barrier or a handrail or anything like that for them so it might be a little bit difficult but i feel like with the counter on the other side you wouldn't really need it and i thought it would be the sort of have a place to have something like that not there in here so this is the bedroom up here now it's supposed to be a small space um <laughs> as you can see here i'm trying to get in a wardrobe and in the end, we kind of have to smoosh the bed up a little bit to one side. Um, your sims can access both sides of this. They have to access it via, sort of, as we're looking at the right-hand side here. And then they can, like, scoot across to the other side. That's fine. And, um, yeah, your sims will be able to sleep on both sides of the bed. So if they do have that sleeping partner over, then that can be done as well in here now i end up changing these lights to uh, this sort of pink these are from the party um essentials i feel like i use that pack quite a bit in here it's not a pack i normally use i have to be honest um and i don't really know why there is a couple of items from that that is really good there are a few items that i'm a bit like mm, do i really how do i but overall, I think the kits are gorgeous um, in kind of like their mini kind of styles. And I feel like they do kind of work together in certain places. So like what I've got in here, um, using sort of different kits uh, together, they work. Uh, which I think kind of makes them a little bit more useful rather than doing just like an expansion pack build. Where that's great, but... Does it overly work with other things? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. So yeah, um, we're, we're slowly chugging our way through this build. So as I say, this is the only kind of bedroom area in here. Um, but it's, it's looking pretty good. I'm liking how all of this is coming together. And I think when I saw the color combinations, I was a bit like, mm, not sure how this is gonna work, but now that I've kind of got it in, the two colours actually really work. And I think they offset each other gorgeously. And I think... I, I'm normally, if I'm going to do like a black kind of build, I would do it like a monochrome or maybe with like a red or something like that. But actually, kind of getting it in here with a pink, kind of in that bright sort of pop of pink, it really makes this sort of apartment really work. Um, and so, yeah, do I think I'm going to do all my builds like this, or quite a few of them? 
probably not but you know why not kind of mix it up a little while and uh, yeah get a bright pink apartment in here for your sims so maybe I will do some more sort of like apartments like this I don't know let me know if you like them um, where we kind of have like a colour wheel decide um, on colours or maybe on like an art style or something like that as I say, I was going to do just two set spins on the sort of wheel, unfortunately they were both black. And I thought, black on black's not really going to show too much, so I ended up going for a third, and that's why it gave it the pink, and I think it really works. But, my opinion, watch yours, let me know down in the comments, and uh, yeah. As you can see, we're working on this little bathroom, it is quite a small little space um, in here. I, there's not really much to tell you about this bathroom, um, I don't normally show you them, but again, because this is such a small little build, I figured why not uh, show you all in there, and yeah, again, I don't know what happened to the curtain, did I delete the curtain, or did it disappear all by itself, anyway, I sort of looked at it, and thought there's not that much clutter up the top here, it looks too perfect. If I kind of want like a university kind of student or maybe somebody who's just left university to live here, it it's too clean, it's too precise, it's too... I feel like if it was something like that and they like just left home and they kind of have maybe it's like their first apartment or something like that and they're just branching out, it's way too clean, it's way too sort of tidy. So let's just come along and absolutely destroy it. And yes, that's what we're about to do. <laughs> that is exactly what we are going to do in here. So we've got a few piles of clothes on the floor. We've got this sort of like futon kind of um, sort of in here as well at the bottom of the bed, which has got lots of sort of clutter all over it. Some little throw pillows because you know, who doesn't have throw pillows all over the bed? Um, in there and I just thought lots of sort of random kind of clutter and bits and pieces in here maybe they've sort of collected it some bits maybe have come from their sort of university or something like that and their dorms but anyway we're at the end here so I will see you again next time bye everyone